Let's go now to the White House. Well, Kellyanne Conway speaking. Saying. Let's not impeach. Let's move on. Let's talk about what was her word yesterday, kitchen table issues. Let's have at it because I present to you the document that shows the Democrats' successes. Hi. <laughs> this is the success of the Democrats in the first 100 days in Congress. Here it is. There's nothing. Kellyanne, can I ask you? Can I ask you the president when he said that? Can I ask you, Kellyanne, about there were there were moments mentioned in the Mueller report where there were contacts between the Trump campaign, Trump associates, and Russians, Russian operatives, and so on. And what happened following that is we got some false information about those contacts uh, from the campaign, from people at the White House, from the press secretary, and so on. There were, there were moments is there a question where we, in there? Th well, the question is, uh, is there any regret for passing on false information to explain some of these contacts and some of these, t these conversations that went on about what was going on during uh, about the campaign. Who, about whom are you speaking in the so, campaign? For this example, is important. So for example, because I'm yet to meet yeah. some of these people and I was a campaign manager. I know I've never I met know. Carter Page. So the Trump I don't Tower, think I've met Trump George Tower Papadopoulos. Meeting, the Trump Tower Maybe meeting, I have. The Trump Tower meeting involving the president's son and son-in-law campaign Total chairman Paul Manafort. Total exoneration from that, Jim. I know, what's been rumored, because nobody in the media is never under oath. Russian all adoptions. these people who sit on TV all day. You're here working hard. You have people on your network sitting on TV all day just saying things. Because they're not under oath, they could just say whatever they want. Does Adam Schiff, where is the quote, ample investigation, uh, okay. uh, uh, excuse me, ample evidence occlusion? Where is it? Tell them to bring it over tell, right now. Can you tell us, can you tell us why, Kellyanne? Hold on. If you can tell us, if you can tell us why, Kellyanne, why were we originally told a bogus story about that, that that meeting was about Russian adoptions? No, no, no. Uh, that's that, not, that, that is not. It says it's primarily, no, the I, read the, I read the quote in the New York Times article that it's primarily, and it's in the Mueller report. I just read all that. I'm re using my very expensive law degree today. I read that in the report, I read that entire section where there's an exchange between Don Jr. and Hope Hickson. He says primarily we discussed, and he says there's some BS stuff at the beginning about Hillary, but it wasn't important and we went right by it. It's we right there for you that. to see. Well, you're being told now that you conjectured about it for two years, and it's not true. So the truth is what's in the report, and you, Don Jr. is exonerated, Hope Hicks, Don Sr. is exonerated. And you're just going to have to move on and start covering issues that Americans are telling you in your own polling is important to them. Health care, which we work on here, education, the economy, foreign policy, uh, denuclearize North Korea. Like, we have a lot to solve in this country. I said to are you, you two and a half years ago when the president was elected, I said that we have, we're going to have joint custody of this country for the next four to eight years. we got six to go. Five and a half to go. We got to find a way to manage that joint custody of this country. You've got to be honest with the American people, Jim, that there's but, no collusion. Okay, so one you guys thing, have all these feelings. Getting, for getting back to being honest, Kelly, and there's also a comment. Kelly, and has President Trump ever expressed concern to you that he thought his presidency was going to come to an end? Never once. I was result, very surprised to see that by somebody who's been here sparingly over the last uh, couple of years. I was very surprised to see that because that was not the reaction of the president that day when I was there. And he has never, there are words that where the president's quoted um, throughout the report where he doesn't use those words. So I'm not sure you can ask the people about that. And, but but I, I will tell you, he has never once um, on the campaign said, I think we should resign. I'm not going to run anymore. Let's just, that, that we're done here. I can go back to my happy life, make billions of dollars. Uh, he has never said that during the campaign. He has certainly never said it since we're here. And I've been by his side for three straight years now on the campaign in here. He has never expressed that, like, my, my presidency is over. And I know that that was the promise and the wish of many people, many people who, for some reason, you give a lot of air time and ink to, who have zero credibility now, who promised collusion, who swore there'd be criminal conspiracy, who would whisper in the ears of people like me that my colleagues or members of the Trump family or both would be headed to jail, would be indicted by the grand jury, would be, uh, would be taken you know, to prison. I mean, that's really a disgrace, people are whispering in our ears about that. None of that happened. I think it's, honestly, it's time to move on. Total exoneration. The president's in a great mood. And I think what's incredibly important here is that democracy and the world's greatest country, greatest democracy flourishes. You don't this need to collude with a foreign government. You don't need asking, to get information from WikiLeaks. You can win elections fairly and squarely. By Russia. Yeah. 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 Does this vindicate? testifies Democrats are calling for? Does he think that would be one more step? Well, I'd ask you, Kristen, though, why are they asking for Mr. Mueller to testify? This was the Mueller investigation. This is the Mueller report. 
these were the Mueller redactions in concert with the Attorney General and Deputy Attorney General and Office of Legal Counsel. So they why would part of congressional oversight? Fine. Let the, if they think it is, then they can call him to testify. But the but the country also has a right to ask: When are you going to legislate and not investigate? Is this oversight or overreach? The Attorney General said today: Sure. You want to call the, uh, Mr. Mueller to testify? Call him to testify. But I think. The burden is increasingly going to be on those who won't let go of this big lie to prove why they are continuing it just in a different form. I mean, we had the Mueller investigation. That was going to be the gold standard. You know how many times I was asked six ways to Sunday, will he fire Rosenstein? Will he fire Mueller? Will he fire, uh, will, will he shut down the special counsel's investigation? None of that happened. If anything, if you read the report, total compliance, total compliance and total well, exoneration. Where's the point-by-point point 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 rebuttal, Kellyanne? Where's the president's point-by-point point rebuttal that Rudy Giuliani said was coming out? He doesn't need a point-by-point point rebuttal. You know what his greatest rebuttal will be? His greatest rebuttal will be he's in office, he's going to remain in office, and he'll get reelected because the Democrats have nothing. They banked everything on this. You have 15, 18 people running for president and not a single message that doesn't involve Trump, 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 Trump. And some of them have promised collusion, some of them running for president, some people who chair powerful committees over on Capitol Hill or ranking members over on Capitol Hill have promised collusion, have said they've got proof of criminal conspiracy. Just because they're on TV shows vomiting their own nonsense and talking points every night and not under oath doesn't mean that they should face full exoneration. They should produce that evidence. If they love this country and they have evidence that somehow a 22-month investigation by the special counsel, independent, with taxpayer dollars, couldn't find it, but somehow Adam Schiff has it or Jerry Nadler has it, let's see it. Where is it? What what Kelly Kelly Ann? Ann? Kelly Ann? Kelly Ann? Kelly Ann? The Attorney General is talking about it. Is, uh, does the President think that this is a criminal matter? Uh, well, the President said all along it's a witch hunt and it's a hoax. I just called it a political proctology exam and we emerged with a clean bill of health. Uh, but investigating the investigators is something that some of the investigators think would be a good idea. This country, look, if you're going to scream about transparency and accountability and you need investigations for two years, then I got 22 more months to wait to see how we got here in the first place. Those FISA applications why the FBI was making payments to Christopher Steele and his dirty dossier, also paid by Hillary Clinton and, the D and DNC. Uh, what's his name? Glenn Simpson has taken the fifth. Fusion GPS, I'd like to know more about that. You've all seen some of the text messages, but sexting, texting, excuse me, between Strzok and Page, and you know what Nellie Orr and Bruce Orr were doing, uh, her at Fusion GPS, him at the FBI, the Department of Justice. I think America has been told by all of you, so thank you for that, that we have a right to know. We want transparency and accountability. We want to make sure democracy is honest. Then let's investigate the investigators. How did we get here? Because when the president says it should never happen to another president ever again, let's see how we got here. How did it start? Kelly, you talked about leaving. Didn't it start when he went on stage and encouraged Russia to hack the election? The report suggests that Donald Trump did try to get rid of Robert Mueller, that there was an attempt at obstruction of justice, but that his team wouldn't allow that. So how does that amount to obstruction? Yeah, no, so they found no obstruction. I think you got to read the report completely and not just take it out and then listen to people on TV who are playing. I sure have. I've read the whole report and I got it. Very recently. Kelly, you cannot. And so, that no, let me you just make the point. Pages. Let me just make the point that, let me just make the point to you that the president, if you look at the, if you look at the entire report, the president had the complete right to fire Mueller. If he wanted to get rid of Mueller, he could just fire him. He doesn't need to do anything else. He could just fire him the way he fired Comey. He has the constitutional right to do that. And this report made clear that there's no evidence that he fired Jim Comey to try to impede the investigation into. Russians and the campaign did not do that whatsoever. He fired Comey because he could. He could have fired Mueller. He could have fired Rosenstein. He certainly has fired a lot of people here, including people who are quoted through the report polishing apples, if you ask me. He could fire me when I walk in the building. He has the right to do all of that. So if he wanted to get rid of Mueller, he could have gotten rid of Mueller. Kelly, can I ask Kelly, you about this one part of the How does the president or does the attorney general bar plan to go after the illegal leakers in the DOJ and FBI? You'd have to ask the attorney general that. I refer that to the Department of Justice. Would you favor it? But we've been, but we've been talking about investigations and transparency be, built on very little, if anything. So I'd say there is ample evidence of other, I mean, look, people obviously were leaking information. Uh, Comey said that he put things out there hoping that the, you know, leaked the information, hoping that it would trigger an investigation, trigger a special counsel, careful what you wish for. Andrew McCabe is a confirmed leaker and liar. 
Uh, so we know there have been leaks. And again, in the interest of our thriving democracy, before the president gets reelected, which is a sure thing at this point, let's um, let's have, since we see Ungats, as my Italian grandma would say, nothing on the other side. Let's see, let's see, let's see who was leaking. Let's see, you know, let's put them under oath. Let's investigate the investigators. Why not? And anybody who objects to that is just being partisan and, 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 and having amnesia about how much we all love transparency. Can I ask you a quick question about? You said that the president was in a good mood. Can you just talk a little bit about sort of a TikTok of this morning? When did he get the news and watch it on TV? What has he said? Well, I won't go through any private meetings, but uh, many of us have been with him throughout the day. You saw him at the Wounded Warriors Project. He was down there taking pictures. I know there was, you know, why is he a half an hour late? He's taking pictures with them. He's talking to his lawyers, uh, watching the press conference, obviously. And then a number of us were going through the report bit by bit. And he's, uh, he's in there right now, uh, asked me to come outside have a little little talk with you. But he, of course, has the last word on all of this. He's the one who was democratically elected fairly and squarely. And he's the one who I'm sure will address you, or I hope will address you at 4 o'clock when he leaves for a well-deserved Easter break with has his family. Has he read the entire report? One last one. Why do you have the entire report? Former administration officials.